It's a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. In about 24 hours, beaches, public gyms, and hotels will be able to open in Broward County. They've been closed for two months. Just like shops and restaurants, they'll have strict guidelines. You can't sunbathe or have picnics on the beach. It'll only be for walking, jogging, and swimming. Gyms will be allowed to open following a public battle between Fort Lauderdale and county leaders. Heading south to Miami-Dade, County Mayor Carlos Jimenez released a Memorial Day message. Our beaches will be closed. The people can go to our parks, shops, and restaurants as long as everyone continues to wear masks, practice social distancing, and follow all of Miami-Dade's new normal guidelines. But Miami-Dade Miami -Dade be beaches may not be closed for much longer. Leaders there are considering opening them on June 1st, along with pools at apartments and condos. We're learning more details about the woman who was accused of murdering her nine-year-old son. Police say Patricia Ripley first tried to kill her son Alejandro, who had autism at a canal off Kendall Drive Thursday. After neighbors heard him scream, investigators say she took him to another canal where she allegedly drowned him. Ripley is being held without bond on several charges, including murder. A Miami family is without a home this morning after a fire destroys their house. Miami Fire Rescue responded to the call at a home on Northwest 69th Street and 5th Court around 8 yesterday morning. A neighbor says she heard crackling and popping and could see the fire from her home. Really, really big fire. The flames were, were humongous. If you could see the trees, like the trees have been burnt to a crisp. And the fire stretched way far above those trees, you know. We got very lucky. We got very lucky. We could have died. Thankfully, no one was hurt and there was no damage to any other homes. Inve officials are still investigating what started the fire. A federal judge has dismissed the lawsuit against Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony from the president of the Broward Sheriff's Office Union. BSO Deputies Association President Jeff Bell filed suit against the sheriff last month after Tony suspended Bell after he accused him of not providing enough PPE to his deputies. The judge says the suspension wasn't enough to support the lawsuit. Now, CBS4 weather. A very wet day on this Memorial Day across South Florida. Flood watch has been in effect since yesterday, but it will continue through Tuesday morning. So what's expected for Monday through tomorrow morning is an additional three to five inches of rainfall. And this uh, flood watch also includes Palm Beach County. Now highs today, 80 degrees. We're expecting most of the heavy rainfall to be in the morning. Then by the early afternoon, there'll still be the chance for some thunderstorms which may be strong. This all has to do with an area of low pressure that's lifting towards the north, moving across the east side of the Sunshine State. Better weather conditions return starting on Wednesday, leading into Friday. Thanks, Jennifer. And that's our news update for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.